Okay, we're going to pick up right where we left off discussing central powers versus state powers. We were in the middle of that. Okay, so we discussed that the way the Founding Fathers found a, um, found a balance between wanting to make the central government stronger but not wanting it to be too strong. Hold on one second. Okay, sorry, I had to calm down all of the Friday commotion. Okay, so the way that the founding uh, fathers uh, found a, a balance between wanting to give the government, the central government, more power but not too much was by first having the separation of powers, dividing our government into three branches executive, legislative, and judicial, and then also establishing a system of checks and balances so that one branch would not become too powerful. The Constitution was declared to be the supreme law of the land. And the Constitution could, or the federal government, according to the Constitution, could impose taxes and regulate trade. Remember, those were two things that were not allowed in the... Um, Articles of Confederation. The Constitution included something called the Necessary and Proper Clause, also known as the Elastic Clause, and this gave the central government some flexibility over time. They could add new laws that were deemed necessary and proper. Okay, so the people debate ratification and ratification just means approval so now that they actually have the official constitution created and drafted they now have to vote on it and it was decided early on at this convention that to pass a new constitution it would have to be ratified by two-thirds of the states and that would be nine of the thirteen states Now you did still have some tension between those who supported the, the ratification and those who didn't. And so those who supported the Constitution were called Federalists. Those who opposed the Constitution were called Anti-Federalists. And the Federalists are going to try to rally support for the Constitution. So three of them, James Madison, John Jay, and Alexander Hamilton, will release a series of essays known as the Federalist Papers. And this was to try to get support for the Constitution. Now, those who opposed the Constitution, as I said earlier, they were called Anti-Federalists, and they were afraid that the Constitution did not address enough state rights, but also they feared that it didn't address um, individual rights and that it didn't protect personal rights. So they do fear as well, just still in general, having too strong of a federal or central government. But they are going to demand a Bill of Rights be passed on the Constitution. And both sides are going to agree to this. And when both sides do agree to create a Bill of Rights, which will become the first ten amendments to the U.S. Constitution, um, the Constitution was officially ratified. So we have a new form of government. Um, and then I just want to introduce here a little bit about George Washington's presidency here because he would be selected as the first president. Um, 
George Washington as the first president, with Adams as his vice president. There's really no election for this. He was just selected to be the new president, or the first president. Um, but Washington established the very first cabinet, and you can see it on the slide right now. Um, he established Thomas Jefferson as his Secretary of State, Alexander Hamilton as his Secretary of the Treasury, and Henry Knox as his Secretary of War. And one of the first things that is created under George Washington's presidency or is, that is passed is the Judiciary Act of 1789. Um, the Constitution did establish the judicial branch, but it didn't go into specific detail. It didn't establish this, de you know, the detailed. Um, court system we have today. So the Judiciary Act of 1789 will set up our court system, uh, the District Courts, Court of Appeals, and the Supreme Court. And now you can pause this, or stop this screencast and watch the second one. I try to keep it short and sweet. Okay guys, have a good weekend. Write down any questions you have.